Hey everybody, I Carries here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. You're in the dark, episode number 55. Alright, so we are ready to go, ready to start hunting some moose. And I read the comments in the last episode when you guys saw that I was hanging out here in the trailers. And uh, there's been some cautionary tales about the wolves getting thick in this area. Being attacked right in this area. Um, someone made a really good suggestion of using the ravine... Uh, and, and, you know, sort of keeping cabin fever away by using the ravine and the, uh, the cave systems there, the outdoor cave systems there, to, uh, sleep in during the night. And that's a pretty good idea because if I have to, I can come right back here, get inside if it gets super nasty. Um, but there's no wolves in the ravine. So I don't have to worry about coming out and getting attacked right away, and I get a good... I see, like, when I walk in from here, I get a good idea of where things are. And I really don't get snuck up on. So, I could spend the day hunting here, and then spend the evening in the ravine. So, I think I might do that. And there's there's deer to be had there, so I could hunt easily there. They're not going too far. They're not going to run off, and I don't have to... I, I think I'm going to do that. That's a great idea. So, whoever suggested that in the comments of the last video, thank you so much. So, we're going to go ahead and... Head on over here. I know there's some peaches back there I left, but we'll be fine. We're just going to head on over here and uh, plan on spending the evening in the ravine. Alright. It's a much safer play for sure. And I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the waterfall sound to be right there in my left ear. But there it is. So there's a... Uh, there's a cave right over here. There's plenty of wood to be had. There's no wolves on this map. So... I might go down here and see what the... See what the birds have to... What they're circling over here. I don't know if there's a... Uh, there might be a cave over here, too. I don't... I can't remember. Let's check. There's some rabbits. I mean, all kinds of good stuff, right? What are the birds on? Are they on a person? Yes, they are. And it's a person I have not checked yet. Nice. Crackers are wonderful. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Alright. Well, there is no cave here, but there is a large cedar limb I can chop up. I get five out of that. So, let's go ahead and do that. We have plenty of wood for the night. Okay. I don't think there is a cave. I could, getting kinda heavy. I could be looking at one and not see it at all. That's just the way I am. 72 pounds, not too heavy. So we're not too worried about that. So we have some rabbits there to, if we need them. Some easy calories. We have the c crackers. And I believe there's a ton of cattails still down here I haven't harvested. So we got options for sure. Yeah, my, my cave that I want to stay in, I think, is right over that way. I'll have to find it again. I stayed there one night, I think. What's this here? A piece of coal? It is a piece of coal. Huh. I was not expecting to find that there. So I just took... I've been studying for two months. They posted it, gave us study materials. And I, there's like a thousand page book uh, that we had to study from, a study book. And I just took the sergeant's test and uh, it went, for me, I think it went really well. There's two other people taking it. And uh, yeah, I thought it went really well. I was very interested in it. Uh, all, all the questions that I, I had some questions. There's like maybe four or five, it was a hundred, hundred question test, hundred points. And, uh, what it is, is it's broken down 30, like the whole process, the whole promotion process is broken down into several stages. One's a test, two oral boards. One of them's a law enforcement oral board. Um, there's a deer if we need it eventually. We need the meat. The other one's a community leader oral board. And, uh, so the, the test is worth 30% of your whole process grade. 
score, I guess. And then, uh, oh, lots of good wood to be had over here, too. Then the two oral boards are worth 25% uh, each. And then you get, like, 15% uh, for seniority. And, uh, yeah, here's the outdoor cave. And then another, like, 5% for education. I have a bachelor's degree, so... Uh, anyway. Oh, yeah, this is a great, great spot. Yeah, I love it. Good suggestion. I wonder if I left water here. Probably not. There's a lot of... Yes, I did. I did leave water here. It just spawned in a little late. So we've been here before, as you can see. We can relight that campfire if we want it. I actually left myself some wood, too. Nice. All right. But it went well. I mean, there's about four or five questions where I was like, eh, I've narrowed it down to two two answers, and it could be this or it could be that, and I can't really remember. I went into the textbook afterwards and looked those parts up, and uh, yeah, I... I I, I went with the right answer, I think, in every case where I had a question, so that was good. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Should get my scores back. They uh, they did the test on Thursday. I had to go in early for my 12-hour shift. Uh, they did the test on Thursday. It was two and a half hours. I only used like an hour and a half, even after reviewing, circling some questions and reviewing them and taking my drink. time. And um, they're going to overnight the uh, results to the... Uh, testing company, and then I guess we should have the the uh, the scores back by Monday or Tuesday of this this week. So, uh, yeah, we should get a quick turnaround on that. All right, how much water do we have? Okay, not a lot, but we have a little bit of water here. So we got about half gallon sitting there. Got plenty of wood. Um, so it's actually really warm in here. It's 83 degrees. Feels like 83 degrees. Um, let me take a look at our food situation. I might go do a little bit of a deer hunt, put an arrow into one of these deers if I have if I have my bow and arrow. I think I do, don't I? Or did I leave it behind? Can't remember. Can't remember. Okay. Yeah, I must have not brought it brought it with me for this particular hunt. That's okay. If we have to use a shot, that we will. But uh, let's take a look at our food situation. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, really. Definitely can make it through the night. That finding those crackers was good. So um, maybe what we'll do. Let me go ahead and drop some of this food here. 66 pounds. Yeah. Let's drop it here. There we go. Oh, and that piece of coal, I could drop that as well. There we go. Alright, so we dropped some of that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more cattails. So other than other than that test, that's that's about all that's been going on with me. Nothing else new. Enjoying a long weekend. That deer's skittish, so we gotta be extra careful about trying to hunt him. Now I wonder if I collected all the cattails here. We'll we'll walk the river, see what we can find. Because here's the thing, I know what'll happen is I'll, I'll drop the deer with a bullet and then I'll go out the next day and I'll find a moose and I'll have like 80 pounds of meat on it. And then I'll be like, why did I waste a bullet? So if I can make it to that point where I don't have to shoot a deer, all the better. Feels like 56 out here. Yeah, I've been through here, obviously. Tinder plugs on the, or, uh, 
cattail heads on the floor. So, wow, they got a little lazy with their placement here, didn't they? It's not written yet. Not written yet. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's walk under the bridge just a little bit, see if we can find a few more cattails. Did I already read this one? Still not read. Okay. Some people are not claiming their backer rewards. I'm probably one of them. I don't. I haven't written one of those. I don't know if I bought the bought in. At the at the right level for that, I'm not sure. Can't remember. Another one. Wow, there's just a lot of them here. Nope. Nothing here. Well, now that we know where we're going to stay for the night, I think we can head on back and... Uh, actually, it's probably getting oh, tired. We're pretty tired. We might just hang out here. I might chop a little more wood. Feels like night is coming. If there's a nice blizzard that rolls through, hopefully we get re-upped on some wood. So I'll probably find a couple large limbs here to chop up. It's gonna be hard to hunt this deer. He is a skittish one. Okay. Cedar limb, let's do it. There we go. Feels like weather's starting to change. It is. It's starting to get windy. Too heavy. How are we doing on condition? 100% condition. Still have 900 calories. And I think I'll chop this one up here. Yeah. Now we can burn wood all through the night. And if we need a little burst of... Uh, if we need to superheat that cave, we got that coal to get that temperature way up there. So I'll I'll hold on to that coal and save it for an emergency night if need be. Things get real bad. It's really dark in here. Luckily I left those uh, items out, like my little beacons. Okay. What's the temp in here? So it feels like 78. This is such a wonderful little cave. I love it. All right, guys. Well, I think what we'll do here is, yeah, we can definitely and start resting here. I'll just sleep right here, and uh, we'll do about two hours at a time, as usual, and uh, get a little bit of something to drink. Yeah, we'll drink, and then, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to have to make a little bit extra water, but that's okay, so... Let's just do two hours at a time and see how it goes. And then hopefully tomorrow we get to see that moose out there. Man, I, I'm nervous to hunt it though. Someone said quadruple broken ribs is a thing. I've never had, had a broken rib in, in TLD, so I don't even know how to treat it. Alright. Should have plenty of calories actually for the whole night. Got quiet out there. I could probably hunt that deer from the inside of the cave. I can, I could hear him walking around out there. Temperature in here still 75. That's plenty, plenty good. That's actually a little bit warm for me. 
Yeah, we just hit 600 calories, which is what you need for 10 hours worth of straight sleep, so we're in good shape. Feels like 75 plus we're getting 12 from the from the bed, from the barrel. So it feels like it's, what, 80, 87 degrees in here? With no fire, that is nice. Now that's how you survive. Hundred and thirty four days, fourteen hours, forty one minutes. For those of you keeping track. Okay. Starting to get a little little bit hungry. Sixty nine degrees plus twelve. Hurry up and get through this night. I want to get. I want to get moose hunting. All right. I want to know. Do I need two moose hides for that? Set? I think I just need one, don't I? No. I could get lucky and just stumble upon one. Apparently, they they are occasionally. Yeah, there's just one needed. Apparently, you can just find them laying around. Um, haven't been that lucky yet. Been lucky with ammo, which is fine. But haven't been able to find that. That's okay. I do really want to hide a or uh, get a moose and, and get a hide from a moose. So I want to sort of do it myself. It's like sun's starting to come up here. I think what we'll do is we'll start a little fire, cook up some water while we wait for the sun to come up fully. Oh well, it's not bad. Oh, it's a. It looks like a pretty day. 64 in here. It's going to be a little little cooler outside than it was. That's all right. There we go. I'll take these with me because they're lightweight. And uh, just in case I get stranded somewhere. What's our weight at now? 75 pounds? Oh, because I'm carrying that wood around. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh heck, I'm going to drop some of that wood right here, actually. Don't need to be carrying all that. Oh, and, or the tinder plugs. Just saw those. Uh, there we go. Can, now it's. It looks like it's a light outside. I wonder if I can use the magnifying glass. Eighty percent chance inside the cave. All right. Let's give it a shot. We got nothing to lose. Take charcoal. Tinder optional. I need tinder for this. Do I need tinder for this? Even though I'm at such a high skill level, really. Oh, so maybe it's telling me I can do it outside, but not inside. Let me try it outside. Uh, I thought maybe I was going to be able to glitch my way through that one. I think if I get outside, it'll let me. I'm still protected here. Let's try. See what happens. There it is. Start fire. Okay, and I don't need tinder after all. Okay. Because I saw this red X, which is different from this one. This one looks like optional, you know? And it's saying optional here, but for some reason it's given a red X rather than a grayed out X. Hmm. So yeah, there we go. Start fire with that. Okay, 80% or 75, 95%. Okay. Base. Oh, that's the base chance. Yeah, okay. That's right. Might as well use that magnifying glass. It's free fire right there. I should probably pay attention to clear days and, and use that more often. I think I've squandered quite a few matches by uh, not even trying the magnifying glass on these clear days. What you could do is you could always take your torch from here and walk inside. You know, take a torch out of here if you just had a couple sticks to get the fire started. Take it in there and just start the fire inside from here. So, just sort out of. pretty well. But since it's a nice day, I don't mind sitting out here. And just sort of enjoying it. So, let's go ahead and uh, cook up a little bit of water here. We'll add a little bit more wood to it. 
get ourselves about a gallon, gallon and a half. Where can I find something to eat? Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab another piece of wood. Too much stuff to carry. Uh, that's a nice... It, it doesn't look that clear out. It was earlier. It sort of clouded over. I don't know if I'd be able to get this fire started again. I think it's gotten just as cloudy enough so I couldn't, but... Let's go ahead and do a gallon. Let's just do a little bit more. Now we have plenty of water. There we go. I'll just drop it right here. No need to take it all the way back in there. Alright, I'll just take a torch from here. Might as well, right? Well, let's go. Thing's probably gonna burn out pretty quick. Feels like it's starting to get windy. Yeah. This torch probably pro probably won't last too long. Maybe I can cook my food right now. Oh! Ah, I just missed. That would be the most fresh venison steak you would ever eat right there. Yeah, we're kind of going into a headwind. Not going to help the torch out very much. I just want to use this in case there is a wolf here, but I have a feeling my torch would be... Yeah, it's about to go. It's about to go. Now, I think wind direction does affect how wolves uh, smell you. That torch is pretty much done for. But I think uh, we're not putting off a whole lot of scent right now. It's something that I tend to forget about. But definitely worth remembering. Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll head up around this way. And at least I don't have to worry about getting attacked on the left side. And we'll keep our eyes open here for the... For the moose. All that creaking and stuff make me a little paranoid. I see some deer down there. I do not see the moose in the neighborhood. I think the last time he, I saw him, he was right in this area. Okay. Let's head on inside one of these trailers and pass a little bit of time. Someone said something about throwing some rocks. I wonder if there's some rocks out here I can grab. No. I'm saying use, like, come out here and immediately throw a rock in case there's a wolf nearby and it'll distract him. And at least let you know that he's, like, not right behind the trailer waiting for you. Hmm. Well, if I see some rocks, 
I'm gonna try to remember to pick him up. Seems like a pretty good idea. You got a little bit of water there. And there's our peaches there if we need them. Okay, well, let's just uh, hang out here for a minute. Might as well hydrate. Rifle away. And let's just uh, pass an hour of time and see if maybe that wolf makes an appearance out there. Or not the wolf. The moose. Wolf might make an appearance too. Yeah. Makes me nervous. I think I'm gonna exit this way. Okay, I think if I'm up here, I would see the moose. This is sort of a good little spot to, to look from. Wow, I get a feeling this moose is gonna be rare. But I've got to start hunting somewhere, and rather than just run around like a chicken with my head cut off, I'm I'm gonna try to dedicate my time and energy to this place to find him because this is a good spot. All right, we will rinse and repeat, man. I think patience is going to be the key to this one. Man, 84 in here, but it sounds nasty outside. It is nasty outside. just stay the night here and then stay the night in the cave and then stay the night here and stay the night sort of alternate I think we'll be okay with, uh, with cabin fever if we do that I think we'll be all right let's just uh, pass a little bit of time here I want that moose satchel I really really want that it's actually a good strategy is to come out crouched I never do it, but that is actually a really good strategy. Yeah, it's going to be a, a rough night. See, I think that's where the moose has rubbed the bark off the tree. Right there. I think that's what I'm looking for. So we're just going to stick here, man. I've seen it here before. There's signs that, that the moose comes here with that tree being rubbed raw. We're just going to invest some time here. could do with all out all the metal creaking sounds Oh there's some pebbles Yeah we'll pick these up Use these if we have to distract a wolf
I'm gonna check over here real quick. Let's see if that wolf's down there in the river area where we saw him last time. Yep, I think I, yeah, there he is. Right where we left them. Yeah, we got a bunch of boxes we can tear up for wood also. See? Yeah, you get like six out of each of those. Wow. Got fire for a long time. Feels like 60 degrees out here. Now that the weather changed, let me see if the moose sort of makes an appearance. I wonder where he even comes from. Like, does he just spawn in out of the blue, or does he come from a certain area? Like, you know, the bear always co comes from the cave with the bones in it. That's his, uh, that's his spawn point. I wonder where the moose appears at when it decides to load into a specific area. Does he just come out of a waterfall or, or what? Okay, starting to get close to nighttime. Yeah. Will's starting to get a little bored with the hunt. I think that's the first time I've consciously noticed the tree being rubbed raw like that. As a moose sign. I think I'm gonna just gonna walk down here and come up to this little hill here. I don't even think I need my rifle out actually. Pretty nice out here, actually. There's some deer. They're, they're coming back out. None of those are moose deer, are they? No, they're all regular deer. If I can do a... Uh, I'm going to try doing it like this here. Uh, what am I doing? Let's just pass a little time right here, see what happens. Starting to get a little tired. Thirsty. Maybe that heavy breathing sound happens when I'm like half asleep. Like, you know, I've lost half my energy more than half my energy, and I'm encumbered. Maybe that's what it is. Because he wasn't doing it earlier. And I've been carrying around, you know, the whole the whole day I've been carrying around more weight. Actually, a little more than that, actually, because I just took a drink. So... Try another hour, see what happens. I'm thinking to myself, maybe the maybe the moose will show up. There's a much higher likelihood that a wolf will show up. I should probably be more worried about that. Like if a wolf if a moose can actually show up during that time period, a wolf could could also. But I don't know. All right, 
right, let's just go ahead and head on in for the night then. Should be able to sleep through most of it. I'll probably pass time one more time. Take a peek outside. So far, so far I am failing at this moose hunt. We will prevail though. We will. Here we go. Let's find the door. It's over here somewhere. First aid kit. I know where that's at. Okay. Navigating by landmarks. I don't know if they come out at night or not. Looks like it's starting to get a little foggy too. Looks so different at night. Huh. Well, he's pretty hard to miss. Bullwinkle is a little hard to miss. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get our sleep. What shall we have to eat? Hmm. Crackers. Pretty good. I think we'll do... Maybe some beef jerky and a granola bar. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds pretty good. Sure, why not? That sounds wonderful. And then we'll get something to drink. And good for giggles. Let's just check and see. We're only 88. We'll be 100% by morning. Mm, yeah, we can just do the straight 10 hours since we're inside. No worries about freezing to death. We are topped up with fluids and we have plenty of calories. We won't pr we probably won't sleep a complete 10 hours. We'll wake up fully rested, but we'll probably get about 9 hours in. He woke up fully rested, yeah. Let's take a look at our water situation here. Probably getting a little bit low now. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll cook up some more water. Should crouch. I should crouch. I could eat a horse. Well, it's probably bigger than a horse. If we can find this moose. Oh man. Such a good little spot to hunt here. That's that's a really good vantage point for this area. I think I'm just gonna crouch here and just keep it so I can see so hungry. So I can see everywhere around me. But I'm just gonna try to advance time again, see if that works. Not sure if that works or if it just freezes everything that's out there and won't change anything. Maybe I need to go inside to do it. I'm not sure. I mean the the Weather definitely changes. Does anything else actually change? No, see, now I do have plenty of energy. And I'm breathing heavy again, so that's not it. Well, sounds like a good theory. Okay, I got a wolf down here now. So there is there is movement regarding wildlife, which is good. That means that wildlife will come into the area and leave the area, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it's just not the type of wildlife we were hoping for. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I think this is the way to do it.
Okay, so there's the wolf there. Let's see what happens with him. When I pass time. Because he was right here. He's still there. Man, if I just have to sit here like this, this is going to be painful. Alright, I think I'm doing the right thing. Advancing it one hour at a time. So, when I shoot this thing, I think I need to be ready to hide behind a tree real quick for a charge, to avoid a charge. I don't know. That's going to be my strategy. That's what I would do if I had to. Just keep circling a tree. <laughs> probably just It would probably just run into the tree and knock it right down on top of me. It's probably what would happen in real life. Now, I am going to have to go and chop up some wood over here and cook up uh, some water. Is that a branch I can chop up? Yeah, it is a branch I can chop up. Let's chop this branch up here. Or this limb. Real quick, let's go down here and do this. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Watch it up here right in front of me now. Back out of the area. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Might just cook some water right here, up here on this hill. I got sunshine. I should be able to do a fire right here with the uh, magnifying glass. Let's do it. I think if I put it back here, it might be protected better. I know I'm turning my back on everything, but that's all right. 80% chance of success. Let's do it. I'll just turn around after each time I cook some water. I'll turn around and check to see if the wolf's there. Come on. Or the moose. Man, that's twice I've done that. I will be checking for wolves as well, but... I wish Will would take a like puff of his inhaler or something. Sounds like he's about already having some water. Sounds like he's already yeah. having asthma attack. No moose. Okay, let's cook a little bit of water. I'm gonna get a drink here real quick. Let's take a peek. Still no moose. And let's get back here to water. Let's boil up what we got. I think we'll throw on another stick. Or another, another stick. Another uh, piece of firewood. Let's just keep doing the water. And that's why I put the fire back there. I don't know if it's going to protect it from that, though. Because that wind's coming straight in from this side. Looks like it's alright, though. How am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm in good shape. Nice warm fire. Uh oh, there it goes. It just went out. Yeah. Yeah, the fire, the wind put it out. Oh well. Can I take a torch from it? Let me try. Hmm. No. I can't. 
All right, yeah, it's too windy. It just blew it out. Well, I tried. I just happened to pick the wrong, the one. I left. I left the uh, one direction the wind came from open. All the other sides were covered, but that happens. That's all right. We got water for the night. Now, if I'd have known that, I would have built the fire over here. Oh well. Let's uh, go ahead and eat a little something here. Might have to do. Might have to do a deer hunt or a wolf. I'll probably do a wolf hunt. Eliminate at least one of these wolves in this area. So. Yeah, we're running a little heavy right now. That's just because I have that water. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cook that in the morning. If it's a sunny day, I'll be in good shape. So, go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and eat some of these and a couple of the uh, cattails. I know we still got that can of pinnacle peaches on the shelf as well. So, do this and then a couple of these, and we should be good. Go. Quick look here. 644. That's perfect. I like how you don't have the option to accidentally drink potable or uh, not, you know the, the contaminated water, non-potable. Drink up here. I have quite a bit of energy actually. Hmm. I guess I can pass time. I don't know if the, I don't think the moose is gonna be out night. I don't know, maybe it is. I guess I don't have anything to lose as long as it's not super windy out here. I wanna damage my clothes too much on the off chance. There's a moose out here. I think I'll leave my water right here. The, Cause I'm gonna have to. There we go. I'm gonna have to purify it. I'll just use that campfire again next time it's sunny. Hopefully in the morning. In the meantime, let's just kill a little bit more time here. What's that down there? It's all glowy. Wow, this looks, it's, it's just a rock. Bioluminescent rock. Okay, let's try again. Has anybody actually, please, and if I don't see a moose out here in the next couple hours at night answer in the comments have you ever seen a moose out at night let me know if it's even possible I don't see why not I you know what I'm using up my calorie store that I should be using for sleep I'm stupid that's dumb it's okay though I mean we got plenty of food options but and I, technically, I should be staying in the cave tonight. D tomorrow, definitely staying in the cave. We'll hunt that deer and get the food from it tomorrow. Or we'll uh, get a wolf out here in the morning. Pretty sure that there's probably more. I can't remember what I left behind in the Carter Hyder Dam, but I'm sure that there's ruined food in there that I can eat. All right. Yeah, I ate too early. That was my problem. I just burned up a bunch of calories for no reason. Honestly. Alright, it's time to get in. Because it's, it's almost... It's past halfway. Oh, easy there. <laughs> exactly that I just launched myself off of. Like I just fell off a cliff. Okay. Well.
Well, you know what? I think we're going to eat the ruined peaches here. 450. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and eat them. There we go. Okay. So we got that. Let's get something to drink. And then let's get a full, uh, yeah, probably about eight hours of sleep. But, uh, it's our, yeah, 91%. We'll be fine. I think it's going to be eight hours. We'll do 10 anyway. But, uh, we're going to wake up early for sure. We're due for a blizzard as well. All right. Nice, nice and bright in here, at least. I need to find food. All right, let's do a little safety sweep of the area here. Make sure none of these stumps are crawling towards me with hate in their hearts. Something to eat. It's like 52 out here. Well, it, I'm trying to find you something huge to eat. I'm really working at it, but man, it is not. It's not. I don't think it's sunny enough to start a fire with a magnifying glass. Nah. Well, wait. We're not that in much in a hurry for for water, so I'm not going to use a match. Part of me thinks maybe I should leave the ravine, leave to the ravine, and then come back, and then leave and come back, and see how that does. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's try going to the ravine, uh, passing one hour of time, and then coming back. Looks like the weather could go either way. Whenever you see those shaky, shaky snowflakes, they kind of give you the little, the little wobbles. Could go either way, especially with the gray skies. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna have to get some of the drink here in a second. Now let's head on back. Let's see if maybe we get lucky. I think maybe there's only one moose in the entire world. Rather than like one bear per map, per region. I think maybe there's only one moose per entire world at a time. Loaded in. Uh, that's just a gut feeling I have. What is that out there? What is that out there? It's the moose, baby. Okay, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so nervous and excited. Okay, I'm so nervous and excited. I'm so nervous and excited. This could go seriously horribly awry. Oh, God. Okay, we got we got trees to hide behind. I'm gonna hide behind this tree. I'm gonna take a shot. Okay, I thought maybe he was gonna charge. That's why I backed off a little. Oh, he's gonna charge. Okay, that hurt. I hit him. Okay, that hurt bad. 
is at the end of it. It's at the end of our broken rib. Okay, so... I didn't think he'd charge me from that distance, but we're hurt. What what health are we at? 59% health? He's hurt. I can't run. I want to try to shoot one more round down at him. And then try to get back to safety. If I can. I think he's hurt pretty bad. I definitely hit him. Oh, is he coming at me? No, he's running. Oh yeah, no, he's coming at me. I gotta get behind this tree. Oh, we got him. Oh, baby. Oh, that was intense. We need to heal. Broken rib. Pain meds. 120 hours of recovery time? Holy gosh. Can it climb? Your mobility is reduced. We'll come out and get this deer, or this moose here in a second once we get some pain meds on board. Okay. Whew. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I shipped that one from quite a distance and apparently it connected. Because he got angry again. I'm glad that I took those three shots though. Oh man, I'm just looking at my hand right now. It's shaking. That was intense, guys. Wow. Okay, let's see what we need. Four pain meds. We got that. We got that covered. Let's do that. I need to take them again? Okay. 120 hours? Well, at least we're not hurt. One or more of your ribs are broken. You cannot climb and your mobility will be reduced until this injury heals. It means I cannot run for 120 hours. We're going to get food. We got to get that food off of them because we're going to be stuck here. So if any any um, wolves come near us, we're just shooting them. And we're going to go hide in ravine until we're healed because that is a safe spot. We won't have to run from anything in ravine. This is a really good spot to hunt, as you can see. Wow. Well, guys, we did it. And we're going to go ahead and leave the moose hide inside the trailer here to cure. Okay. Got a bunch of that. Let's go ahead and quarter this thing up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this moose hide. Um, I don't need the guts. Right now, but I will take um. How heavy am I? Four pounds. I will take a moose quarter. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. And we'll go. Again, if we pull a, a wolf, we'll we'll just shoot it. And if we need more uh, meat, we can always come back out here and grab another quarter and make a move back one at a time. Um, since there are no wolves in this immediate area that I'm seeing, I might just take each of these over to the edge of Ravine and get them inside Ravine region. Uh, might as well take it while there's no wolves in this particular area. But I just grabbed a bunch of food, so that's good. Alright, well... Now that I know how to hunt him a little bit better, I think. I think if I, I, I think you can use trees. Can you use trees to hide behind? Oh, is that a, what is that right there? It's not a wolf. That's a stump. Okay. Just wonder if you could use trees to hide behind. All right, guys. Well, we're at the hour mark. Uh, I'm still carrying the hide. I should have dropped the hide. That's okay. I'm gonna drop the, uh, yeah, the decoy, <laughs> the big old, the big bag o moose, right there. Uh, again, there's no wolves here, so that's not gonna get eaten. Um, but uh, 
what I'll do is I'll head back here. We're hitting the hour mark. Um, I am going to go ahead and ferry. Oh, there's a wolf right there. I think we should. I think we should take him out. I think we should take this wolf out. Suddenly he appears, right? He just went over that hill. I'm gonna go get my rifle out. I'm gonna do it on pain meds in case I sprain a wrist. I got enough for a sprain wrist and a sprain leg. I'm okay. All right, we're gonna run a little long this episode. I don't want to fight this guy because I don't have great health. I have 59 or so health. Had to be done. We need to move this meat. And I don't want to mess with mess with that wolf. Make sure that that wasn't a different wolf. I want to clear this area. <sighs> I'd at least leak, uh, at least like to have two bags or maybe three bags of this. I'm, I'm gonna try to get all of them over here. And I, I think what I'll do is I'll actually grab a gut in case I need to drop one. Um, because I can't run, so I do have to almost use a decoy at this point. Because I'm going to be stinky anyway, so I might as well grab a gut, right? That's a lot of bags of freaking meat. Could end up being useful. 19 pounds, jeez. So we're double stinky, but I can drop one of them. I need to. Again, I can always shoot another wolf. I'm not worried about it. Because what I'm going to have to do now is hole up in this cave for this 120 hours. Too heavy to carry. Because it's just not safe to run around with a broken rib like that. So we need to convalesce in the next episode. So I'm going to drop this one in here real quick. Oh, he's just he's just sleeping, kids. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. We'll continue doing this in the next uh, episode. I'll see you guys uh, in episode 56. Wow, we got one. That was fun. Y'all take care.